on the significance and benefits of developing a habit for reading Surah Al-Baqarah on a regular basis and as more frequently as possible, a question is usually asked. That is, does it suffice for us to listen to the surah using an audio player instead of reading it? Well, the answer to this question comes in two forms. A conventional wisdom answer on one hand and on the other hand, an answer that will make you optimize the surah and take away the best out of it. In this episode of A Moment, Please, I'm going to share with you both answers. Therefore, you are free to choose. Let's do this. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. A moment, please. We have learned from two different videos on this channel, Al Bushra by G Salam, and from an article on gsalam.net regarding the significance of reading Surah Al Baqarah on a constant basis. Links to all of them are in the description below. However, from time to time, due to the significance of the subject matter, more questions do come in. The recent question is whether it suffices to listen to a recitation of Surah Al-Baqarah through an audio player instead of actively engaging in reading it by oneself. As I mentioned in the intro, there is a conventional wisdom answer and a more honest answer. As you have rightly guessed, the conventional wisdom answer to this question is certainly yes. In fact, there are two benefits of listening to recitation of Surah Al-Baqarah and for that matter to the entire Quran instead of actively reading it by oneself. First, listening to the Quran keeps you away from listening to music. That is, any time spent in listening to the Quran saves you from using that time in listening to music. Certainly, no matter what benefits there are that we can claim for music, the Quran has many folds of such a benefit and the opposite isn't true. In other words, if there's any good at all that we can reap from music, then rest assured that we can get such good from the Quran as well. But there are loads of good in the Quran that are not in music. Furthermore, there are evil in music that cannot be found in the Quran. And second, listening to the recitation of the Quran enables passive learning to its recitation, I mean to the recitation of the Quran, especially for children and individuals who are auditory learners. However, for the actual and full effect of the surah, and for that matter, the entire Quran to take place, one needs to make the time and put in the effort, engage and involve himself in reading the surah, whether sitting, moving, in the house or on the go. However, reading it at one's home is certainly more preferable than anywhere else. Let's look at it this way. One can spend the whole day watching videos or listening to podcasts about fitness or cooking. Is that beneficial? Yes, to some extent. Is that enough? Certainly not. It is beneficial because by listening or watching, you gain some knowledge. You learn some theoretical techniques and what have you. You become informed about many things, many places, and many individuals when the topic of fitness or the topic of cooking is put on the table for discussion. However, it is not enough because that won't make you fit nor will it make you a chef. To be fit and healthy, you must make the time and put in the effort. Carry yourself out of your bed, out of your workstation, out of your fears, and hit the gym, hit the floor, or hit the road to exercise. To be a good cook and a good chef, you must go out and learn to choose fresh ingredients and to apply the cooking process and techniques. And with time, you will start to appreciate the sense of being a good cook or being a good chef. Now, back to the question. Can one just depend on listening to the recitation of Surah Al-Baqarah for its benefits? The answer is yes and no. Yes, listening has some benefits. But reading it personally covers the benefits of listening and grants you 
more access to the full spectrum of benefits that reading Surah Al-Baqarah earns anyone, depending on how much of yourself you give it, depending on how much you focus when doing it, and depending on how consistent and how long you keep doing it. In the end, it takes following the instruction of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to achieve those fruitful benefits. Imam Muslim Rahimahullah Ta'ala reports from the narration of Sayyiduna Abu Umama Radiallahu Anhu that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Iqra'u Surat Al-Baqarah fa inna akhdaha barakah wa tarukaha hasrah wa la tastati'uha al-batalah. Recite Surat Al-Baqarah for to take recourse to it is a blessing and to give it up is a cause of grief and the magicians cannot confront it. Is it compulsory that we must recite Surah Al-Baqarah, we must read Surah Al-Baqarah? No, it is not. It is not compulsory, not at all. It is not like one commits a sin if he chooses to not read Surah Al-Baqarah, as it is the case when one chooses to miss his prayers for whatever the reason may be. I will say just like it is not compulsory for one to go to the hospital, to go to the clinic, to see the doctor when he falls sick, one can also choose to just let his sickness heal on its own. The thing with Surah Al-Baqarah is that it takes Surah Al-Baqarah or intensive ruqya to achieve what Surah Al-Baqarah gives anyone. Once again, it is not about halal and haram, nor is it about wajib and non-wajib. It is also not about fard and sunnah, as well as it is not about a must-do and otherwise. It is rather about what you get in benefit when you do it as compared to what you lose when you choose to not do it. Here are some guaranteed benefits as promised by the Prophet Reading Surah Al-Baqarah brings you barakah. And when this barakah arrives, you will feel an immense tranquility in your life. You will feel calmness in your household. You will feel less or no more unnecessary anxieties, despite the usual tests and trials of life. You will develop a light body in doing and carrying out ibadah. You will be protected against the devil, evil eyes, and witchcrafts. More on this in the video, 7 Reasons You Must Start Reading Surah Al-Baqarah right away. The link of which is in the description. Having said all that I have shared so far, the one who doesn't know how to read the Quran and hence he can't read Surah Al-Baqarah, he should start with listening. But the truth remains. He is encouraged to make the time and put in the effort to learn to read. Yes, I know. It is not easy learning something new as an adult. But then again, it is better late or it is better later than never. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the courage we need to fine-tune our dunya for the benefit of our akhirah. Until our next, I leave you in Allah's protection. See you then and see you in Jannah. Wassalamu alaikum.